We're back looking at BankLink's Invoice Plus, which is a fabulously simple little program for anyone who's after some sort of invoicing software. And this is available to all of our BankLink clients. Now, last time we took a look at how to set up your company details, business details. This time we're going to have a look at how to add some inventory items. Now we're back in BankLink Invoice Plus. Now you'll recall that in our Happy Handyman file, we actually set up some business details and now we'd like to add some items. Now I've already actually done that in this one just to show you what I've done for this fellow um, is just add a labour charge at $100 an hour and parts and materials charge he might want to add, which he can adjust the price on each one. Now you can actually use the items area to set up different, you, your entire inventory there, you can set up all different things any way you like. I thought this was easiest to demonstrate here and I'll show you how to do those other things in a moment. But just with our labour and parts there, what we could do is go over to our invoices and we're going to add a new one. And if I just quickly pick cash sale here, just to show how this works. In the item, we want to pick labour and we had one point. Five hours of labour, we can see that comes to the $150. And say we had a little nominal amount of parts, parts and materials. Now you can actually change this to read whatever you like, fill in the different details if that's what you'd like. You do have to put in a quantity though and a unit price. So say we had $17.50 worth of that. And what we can see there, if I just go view, whoops, our invoice has gone very large here, hasn't it? And we can see here that we have labour charge, one and a half hours and we have just a small parts of material charge of $17.50 which has been added onto our Happy Handyman invoice as well. Now what if I want to set up an item? So let's have a look how to do that. So I'll just switch over to another file. Okay so I've just made another Invoice Plus file here called Mike's Mechanics just to show you how you add items. So we're heading along you probably start on your customer page here and we're heading along the top bar until we find setup and then items and over in the side here we're going to add a new item. Now we're going to assume that Mike charges one flat rate for his car service, maybe he has a special this month. Um, so we're going to need to give it a code, let's make it service for simplicity. Um, here we go, full car service. May special. That will do us. Now we're going to, if it's the item is taxable, which it will be in this case, we're going to tick that. Unit of sale here, you could add whether it's each um, or if it's hourly or something like that. I have no idea what a car service costs, so I'm just going to put in $200 and then we're going to pick the GST at 10% and save that item. And that's how simple it is to add items. Now if we were to go do a quick invoice for a customer on a cash sale, we would simply pick service as the item, add our quantity, which is being one, and there we have it. Now if we save that, we can see we have a cash sale for a service, full car service, May, sp May special, one and $200. That's how easy it is to add your items. Now, Invoice Plus, it's a simple little program, but it can do a surprising lot of things. We can actually maintain your customer database in it, issue quotes, convert them into invoices, enter all of your receipts, create credit notes, produce statements to stand out to your debtors on a regular basis and you can also run some important reports. So it can actually do a lot of things. So what we'll do, we'll start a series of screencasts and we'll look at how we actually make the most out of our Invoice Plus. If you're a BankLink client and you're interested in getting onto Invoice Plus, you can just give us a call on 1300 35 22 35 and we'll set that up for you.